Happy Halloween, everybody. So, today is the start of an annual tradition here on my YouTube channel. So, every October 31st of every year, I'm going to do something like this. Like, look at scary things, maybe play a scary game. But, today is going to be a different one. What is the thing on the internet where you can find weird and kind of creepy things? Google Earth. So, yeah. There's some videos I have on YouTube. We're going to react to them and see if they're scary or weird or not. So let's get into it. If you have been liking this video, please hit the like and subscribe button if you want me to do more videos like this. Anyway, let's get into it. Okay, so I have a couple of videos right here called Scary Google Earth Moments TikTok Compilation. Yes, there's some videos from TikTok on here. You can find a lot of weird things on Google Earth or Google Maps. I don't know how they are able to catch these things, but we're going to look at them. Alright, let's start. Zombies. Alright, I found some zombies so far. Please find the dead people under the waters. Do you find dead people underwater? Cool. <laughs> oh my god, they're frozen. What in the world? Is that like an elephant right there? I don't know what that is. Okay, what's this? Turn my volume down so you guys can hear me better. Oh my god. An alien. What is this? Wait a minute. How the person got up there? That's all we want to know. Like, how did it think? How does like whatever takes the pictures of these things? Like, I what? It's like I think it's some kind of car that takes pictures of them that's run by Google. What? Whatever it is, how do they catch these things? Like, how? What's the odds of catching these kind of things on the internet? On the on the planet? I can't read Spanish if I can't read Spanish. Um, if you're um, if you speak Spanish, um, let me know what "que es esto" means. What? Huh? I guess we now know what the inside of Area Fifty One looks like. Wait, this isn't Area Fifty One. This is like someone something like it, I think. But now we know. What, air, what the inside of Area 51 looks like. We always, that's why we rated it back in 2019. <laughs> France? 
Yeah, there's a lot of weird... You always find a lot of weird things on Google Earth in Europe. Like, specifically France, Germany, United Kingdom, possibly in Eastern Europe as well. Okay, it's in the river. Whoa, what? They're just... Are these statues? They, yeah, these are statues. These are statues climbing up. I don't know if this thing would be. Is it like an electrical pole? Sorry. What have I found? I don't know, what have you found? We found weird things so far, what have you found? I always ha I always wonder what happens to Disney princesses after they get kidnapped or whatever. Like I always wonder what happens when they get lost. WTF. Alright, somewhere in Lithuania. Oh, yeah, I know what all these countries are. I'm very smart at geography. Somewhere in Lithuania. What the what is this? Is this where they like... I think I've seen this before. Like this is like some Christian... Christianity graveyard, like a cross graveyard. Where the crosses would go. Oh, there's like a... Like an orthodox cross right here and these are all the Christianity ones. There's one with Jesus on it, there's a bunch of them here. So, some, this is in Lithu this is in Lithuania. Like, I kinda wanna see this one day. Like, this is kinda cool. Okay, I couldn't see what that was because the bloody channel thing was in the way and there was videos in the way. It looked like there was like a dark sh a shadow creeping out of the window. It is kind of what it looked like to me. I don't know. Anyway, we got another one three minutes long. Let's go. Scariest things found on Google Earth. Google Earth edition. Alright, let's go. No more in Africa. Of Harry Potter. No, imagine like, like ha having the ability to find these things. Like, like if you have like the time, like how much, how long would this take you to find these kind of things? Like, you have to like put many hours into your, I don't even know, your free time to find these things. I don't really have time. I wouldn't have time to do this kind of thing. ¿Tú qué harías si te encuentras a las siguientes personas en medio de la carretera? Okay. En Sonora hay un grupo de gente que aparenta. Okay, um, here's the new thing. Um, if you guys speak Spanish, um, let me know what all these words mean, because I don't speak Spanish. Sorry, sorry for my Spanish-speaking subscribers or viewers. I don't know. Evidentemente están esperando a algo o a alguien. Nadie lo sabe, pero sus atuendos son realmente escalofriantes. ¿Qué piensas que pudo haber sido? Un yeah. intento de robo o algo paranormal. What? What? There's a plane? Let me see this. Oh, I want to see this for myself. Wait. There's a plane. In the world. The the plane actually crashed there, or did it land? Did it land it? Did someone land it or crash it? It kind of looks like they landed it, but maybe they made it into a 
hotel or something? I don't know. People do weird things with things. Alright, somewhere in Peru. Not Peru. What? Colombia. Somewhere in Colombia. This person must live in Colombia. Kazakhstan, why you're satanic now? I guess Kazakhstan's satanic now. Alright, off of Australia. We're off Australia. What do you got for us? What do you got for us, Australia? What in the world? The pentagram or something. Bu terk edilmiş yerde bunun ne işi var ve bu ne? Google Earth gizemli yerler 20. Chernobyl taraflarında terk edilmiş bir yere gidiyoruz. Ve şu binaya sokak moduna iniyoruz. Terk edilmiş bir yer ve bu. Batman. Batman's been in Japan. No way. When has Batman been in Japan? We need him in Japan. Ustedes se atreverían a entrar en un bosque de noche? Oh boy, something in Chernobyl. This is in Ukraine, I think. This Chernobyl is in Ukraine. Bueno, en Chernobyl, como ustedes bien saben, hace mucho tiempo ocurrió un desastre caótico. Explorando sus bosques hay algo realmente terrorífico. Una especie de niño o que. Alright, right, found a new video right here called Most Creepiest Things Find Google Earth. Now there's gonna be a guy talking here. First one is Pentagram. Well, I think we. Same one, that this large pentagram found on the southern shore yeah. of the upper Tobol Reservoir in Kazakhstan is unsettling. However, yeah. this site isn't as sinister as it appears, according to the archaeologist Emma Uzmanova. She explained to Live Science, it is the outline of the park made in the form of a star. Stars were known to be popular symbols yeah. during the Soviet era. That's what I would, that's what. I thought it would be too, because like the Soviet Union, the Soviet Union once ruled Kazakhstan, so that would make some sense. And the park's roadways make the shape more visible. Number 22, Crimson, Crimson water. water. There are few lakes that look as ominous as the crimson colored body of water found in Iraq's Sadir City. Iraq. The mysterious site was first brought to the internet's attention back in 2007 which prompted a lot of speculation. Multiple theories have been idealized, from nearby slaughterhouses dumping blood into the oh canal boy. to su- You think Saddam Hussein has something to do with this? I doubt it. <laughs> I doubt Saddam Hussein has something to do with this. I mean, he was a bloodthirsty dictator, but I don't think he would do something like this. I mean, yeah, I don't even know. Iraq, like, I mean, I know war happens there, but they probably don't dump people's blood into this river right here sewage or pollution but there hasn't been an official explanation crazy right yes very number 21 extraterrestrial symbols these symbols found etched into the ground near mesa huerfanita new mexico clearly appear extraterrestrial however it was discovered that this spot is actually a popular destination for a property belonging to the church of scientology of course. The Washington Post explained, the symbol Church marks a return point, a so loyal staff members know where they can find the Founders' works when they travel here in the future from other places in our universe. Exactly. Number 20. The SS Hasim. What? While no longer visible today, the SS Hasim was once the largest shipwreck visible on Google oh, Earth. Wow. The Bolivian cargo ferry oh, was Bolivia. launched back in 1961, but was met with an unfortunate demise after it sunk on the Wingate Reef off of the coast of Sudan in December 2003. Sudan. No, Number 19, Sudan. Gobi Desert. 
This mysterious and oddly intricate grid of interconnecting straight lines found embedded in China's Gobi Desert raised many eyebrows for those not the Gobi, De the Gobi Desert's in Mongolia, but I think it's also in China too. I know it's mainly in Mongolia. Who stumbled across it. However, it's been theorized by experts that this is most likely a Yagi antenna array, which is used to track weather as well as other atmospheric research. Number 18, Geographical Marvel. What? This strange oh, geographical cool. marvel cool. located near Medicine Hat in the southeast corner of Alberta, Canada, appears Canada. to resemble a face from an aerial view. However, this formation is completely natural and has been dubbed the Badlands Guardian. Hmm. The imagery is further solidified by a road and oil well, which many find looks like earphones. Number 17. Graveyard of Airplanes. Whoa, what? This weird satellite what? image of a graveyard of airplanes was quick to grab the internet's attention. The what? Davis Monthan Air Force Base is located just outside Tucson, Arizona, Arizona, and is where retired planes go to either be kept for storage or have their parts removed for reuse or resale. This aircraft boneyard has over 4,000 military aircraft 4, parked on aircraft. the base. 4,000 planes. Number 16, Hill Formation. This hill formation was spotted on Google Earth by curious scanners who found that they resembled human lips. Mm, yeah. These landlocked mm -hmm. lips are formed by two rocky ridges and stretch half a mile long, located in Garb Darfur in Sudan. That's in Sudan. The hill's natural coloring Darfur. only adds to the imagery. Number 15, Spiral Formation. Mm. The spiral formation in the Egyptian desert near Hergada on the Red Sea coast may look like something extraterrestrial, but it's actually land art called Desert Breath. The piece was created by three Greek female artists back in March 1997 and covers an area of about 25 acres. Number 14. Stone, stone sculpture. sculpture. Whoa. This giant stone sculpture is certainly- There's something similar to this. There's a pink bunny. Uh, let me show you, Heist. Let me try to find it in a minute. Hey, look, there's like a pink bunny right here. So like, this is found in Italy. I think they might mention it in the video, but I'm not sure. Like this is- uh, this thing's gone now, but it was once a giant rabbit that a bunch of artists from Austria made. And I guess like, I guess it's destroyed now. It's like it's not there anymore. See, like it's, in, it's like in the mountains of Italy. But now it's not there anymore. Like this one's kind of creepy too. Like people think there was a dead body found in the Netherlands. Yeah, it's in the Netherlands, I think. All right, let's go back to the video. Google Earth Zoom. All the right. piece was created by Scottish gangster and convicted murderer. This was created by a Scottish gangster, really. Jimmy Boyle. Wow. I don't think they'll mention the pink bunny, but we'll see. Jimmy Boyle, who Another actually spoiler. designed the sculpture while he was in prison. The 100-foot structure, which is the largest concrete one in Europe, was created at Hunters Hall Park in Craig Miller, Scotland. Hmm. Scotland. Number 13, OK Bay. OK Bay. This aerial shot of OK Bay in northeast of New Zealand sparked speculation of a monster after many pointed out the long strip resembled a giant snake making its way through the water. Huh. However, a boat is visible upon further zoom, which makes it much more likely that this strip is just a trail. Yeah, maybe. Number 12, the Beatrix Park Dock. The yeah. Beatrix Park- So they did mention one of these things, okay. Park Dock in the Netherlands yeah, in the was Netherlands, quick they... to reach virality after many people noticed what appeared to be a dead body yeah, and a trail of blood leading to it. However, it was later discovered that this crime scene was nothing more than a dog who loves to swim off the end of a jetty. A what? Number 11, Cantega. Cantega is a major mountain peak of the Himalayas in Nepal with a summit of 6,782 meters. Wow. However, 
Those who try and get an aerial view will notice that the peak appears to be blocked out. While there are a few theories floating around why this could be, there hasn't been an official explanation. Number 10, shipwrecks. There are several shipwrecks that are visible when viewing the waters of Shat al Rab in Basra, Iraq from Iraq above. Again. According oh. to Nikash.org, wow. the General Company of Ports of Iraq estimates there are around 36 sunken ships scattered in the Shat al Rab, which is one of Iraq's most important waterways. Hmm. 36 sunken ships. I wonder how Number they nine, them. Meteoroid Crater. This meteoroid impact crater, which is located in the northern oh, wow. Arizona desert, is about 1,200 meters, 3,900 feet in diameter, and some 170 meters, or 560 feet deep. Observing this meteor crater from above gives some unsettling scope of how large it is and how fragile our planet can be. Oh, wow. Number eight, strange formations. These strange and mysterious formations have been found multiple times on Google Earth, but many people have been stumped on what it could be. It certainly doesn't look like any parking lot we're familiar with. No. However, the UK Ministry of Defense has referred to these airbase installments as motorcycle ranges. Hmm. Number seven, hot spring. This hypnotic visual looks almost foreign to our planet from a bird's eye view, but it's actually just the largest hot spring in the United States. It's the Yellowstone. The Grand Prismatic Spring is located in the Midway Geyser Basin in Yellowstone yep, National Park Yellowstone. and garnered its name from its striking natural coloration. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Star Fort. The Star Fort is Star certainly Fort. bound to grab the casual Earth scanner's attention. The odd site is actually Fort Barange, which was built in 1593 in the village of Barange in Groningen, Netherlands. Hmm. The fort currently serves as a historical museum, but it takes an aerial view to truly appreciate the design here. Yeah, it does. I really like that. Number five, Nazca Desert. In the Nazca Desert in Southern Peru, there are a series of ancient geoglyphs that can only be appreciated from a bird's eye view. The largest figures are up to 370 meters, 1200 feet bird. long, and are believed bird. to have been created between 500 BC and 500 AD. However, their purpose still remains a mystery. Yeah, I can see. It's like a big alien thing right there. It's like an alien. Number four, aerial shot. While this isn't a sight that would be too unnerving on land, there's no denying that this aerial shot looks kind of freaky. It, it looks like the ocean is about to pour into the land. Number three, strategic bombers. What? No one in their right <laughs> mind would want to stand behind a TU-160 strategic bomber when they're starting their engines. Oh, but this yeah. image certainly solidifies that notion. This aerial shot of the Ingalls Air Force Base in Russia shows just Russia. how much erosion can occur from the exhaust fumes. Oh, wow. From that plane? Just one plane can do that. That's a, that's crazy. Russia makes some crazy things. Number two, Alma College. Alma College, a girls' private school in St. Thomas, Ontario, Canada, was built back in 1878 but it was destroyed in a fire in 2008 of suspicious nature. The building's demise was captured by Google's satellite oh, wow. showing the extent of the flames. I just seen that in 2D though. Now, if you haven't heard of the infamous Costa Concordia shipwreck oh, yeah. disaster that occurred in they 2012. Found, they found this on Google Earth? No way. They found the, Con the Costa Concordia shipwreck thing. I'll show you guys what the Costa Concordia shipwreck. I really hope you enjoyed this first um, video of Spooky Month. Um, I'll be doing this again next year, October 31st, 2022. So yeah, first video. I'll be doing this every single year on October 31st, aka Halloween. So, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.